He'd be a pretty cold bastard who didn't want revenge for the death of someone he loved. I don't think the dead care about vengeance. This man and I have some unfinished business. At the end of Casino Royale, he lo loses the love of his life, and now uh, Bond is sort of in, in a lot of pain, and he's searching for who is responsible for it, and uh, you know, and who is behind that death of Vesper. So Quantum of Solace takes place uh, about half an hour, an hour after the last Bond film ended. You know, on one hand, the making a Bond film, or especially Quantum of Solace, was this enormous amount of pressure because Casino Royale was the most successful Bond ever, and, uh, and in, in a sense, the expectations were huge and the pressure was enormous. Um, you know, the great thing about the film, making a film of the size of Quantum of Solace, that you really had the support of the producers and also the budget to sort of create a, the, a very clear vision and I could sort of manifest that vision. When you're making smaller indie films, on the other hand, you struggle every day just to, to get the film made. Craig was one of the reasons I accepted to direct the movie and uh, you know we have very similar we both come from independent cinema we have very similar sen sensibilities and in that sense they were overlapping and it was crucial because unless the two of us would be really collaborators we couldn't have done the best movies. Ian Fleming wrote a very complex character in James Bond and um I mean, so much so that he's been able to, the character's been able to morph, you know, through the various actors who have played him and through various generations. And there's a, you know, there is a lot of, in the books, um, he internalizes his feelings a lot. And that's something that I think Daniel is able to, sh to portray how Bond is feeling and thinking uh, without really saying very much. Once I decided that I actually would make the film, it was very important for me. I wanted to have a really action-driven movie and I fought for that as well because it was really crucial for me. I think that there should be sort of an emotional element to the film, but it should be just sort of feel like this bullet. It starts and it keeps you on the edge of the seat until the last frame.